Hey one, how's it going? So a lot of the times that students finish their research, they want to get it published somewhere, right? They're going for a conference or going for a journal or going for a science fair, right? Whatever fits for their application, for their undergrad or graduate school, that work needs to be presented somewhere. So that leads to the question of what is a good channel of writing your paper and to get it into a publishable ready format. So that's why we're here today. In the next couple of videos, we're gonna be introducing a series of Overleaf tutorial that I personally use, that I found super helpful, also very easy to use to get your paper to a publishing ready format. So what's the motivation here, right? Why can't I just use Google Doc? Why can't I just use Word document? That sounds easy, right? I open up a Word document or Google Doc, I can start writing an essay, right? So the difference is if you go on Word document or Google Doc, the technical perspective becomes very inflexible. If I want to create a mathematical formula, I got to open up an object, create an object before I can type in the code. Or if I want to create an appendix, create an index, table of content, reference, things like that, I always have to create an object, click on three to four different buttons from another page somewhere else, or go to the menu bar, navigate for about two and a half minutes before I can start writing table of contents, figures, formulas, references. So that's where LaTeX come in. And that's what this sequence of video is about. It will teach you step by step how to put together a list of objects in Overleaf using LaTeX. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.